Hey Lipsters, how you doing? I have a very special video today. So stick around with me and you'll find out why. today whipping it up it's a little bittersweet moment because this will be my last cooking video don't worry <laughs> my last cooking video in this kitchen y'all I will be moving well I am in the process of moving and I will have a new kitchen and I'm kind of excited about it but it's a little bittersweet because I love this kitchen I love it being open and spacious so yeah but um, yeah, you guys who have followed me along my journey have heard me talking about the, uh, the frustrations of trying to find a new place, but I have found one, thanks the Lord. This is nothing but God. I'm excited. So yeah, last cooking video in this kitchen, y'all. So I'm just gonna hop into it. Um, my boyfriend, J-Rod Reviews, found this cooking video and he sent it to me and I'm like, you want me to cook this? Oh no. <laughs> so, um, what was it? It is called honey, garlic, something chicken, honey, garlic, lemon, butter, chicken. That's what it is. Yes. Honey, garlic, lemon, butter, chicken. So I, um, have marinated my chicken breasts overnight, actually my chicken thighs. So yeah, uh, it was marinating, but um, we use paprika, black pepper, lemon and pepper, um, some salt and uh, garlic, whatever. I use some other seasonings. I can't remember. That was last night, y'all. Yeah. I'm sorry. yeah, that was last night. But I let that marinate overnight. So it's gonna be good and tasty. I am going to be cooking this in my Instapot because I will be putting something else in the oven. Um, and yeah, so I put all those ingredients and this is how the chicken looks. It looks kind of nasty. I did not want to film me having to rub the chicken in and out under the skin and all that because y'all know how I am about touching meat. Mm, I don't really like it. I was like in here screaming. So let me get my Instapot ready and I will hop back on. Okay, I need my Instapot ready. Um, yeah, with moving, you pack up stuff and you don't realize what you don't and don't have. So I have these little sandwich bags that I put the chicken thighs in to marinate. They look good. They look all juicy and tenderized and seasonized and all that. But as you can see, I rubbed it on the top and under the skin. So it's going to be good, hopefully. It marinated. This is my first time making this. So we will see how it turns out. And I guess I will have to get j Rabbit Views approval. <laughs> But yes, I'm just sticking them all in my Instapot here. And yeah, throwing this out. Ugh, not there. Okay, yeah, I need to wash my hands. All right, so I am going to put this in my Instapot on the video that he sent me. The guy put it in the oven for, I believe, Ooh, I forgot, but it was a long time. But I ain't got time for that, so I'm gonna put my Instapot on. I am going to do it for probably, mm, I'm gonna do like, mm, I'm gonna do um, like maybe I'll do 15 minutes because I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna make a glaze to put on top of that and then I think I'll finish it in the oven. Haven't decided on that yet, but 
for now, 15 minutes in the Instapot. We are good to go, it is warming up. And now um, the other ingredients to um, put as far as the glaze, I'll be using butter, um, of course, garlic and honey. So yeah, I was trying to open this and I don't know, it, it, I think that thing is stuck. So let me see if I can find another way to open it. Y'all, I am so impatient and um, I tried, let me see if I could do it like this. I can't get a good grip on it. Um, no, like will this <laughs> oh my gosh I just may not have garlic on here and I usually have fresh garlic or some sort of garlic but with the mood like some stuff is here some stuff is not here and the garlic is one of them um I feel like this is a main part of the dish and I need to find a way to open this but for now, um, let's get this glaze going without the garlic. Oh, where is the pot? Okay, so I found the pot. Um, we are going to, I'm gonna just eye this stuff because, hey, <laughs> that's how it's gonna be. I am hungry and I want to eat before going out later. I'm trying to get into the holiday mood, so going to a holiday concert. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos, I did go to a holiday um, parade last night, which was really nice. Um, the city put it on, and it was a whole day of events. I didn't think I was gonna be able to make it, but um, it was really nice. All little families and the kids enjoyed it. It was just such a cute time. I think I enjoyed it more than the kids though. <laughs> okay, so, oh yeah, and it also called for fresh lemon. I ain't trying to go back out to, to the store, so I got some lime. Um, it says to slice it up and put it in the pot and then, Hey, we gonna try it out. We gonna try it out. So I got the um, boop, the butter going. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see if I could switch it up right here. Nope. <laughs> okay. So, oh my gosh, y'all. Why am I so clumsy? Okay. So this is this is how it's gonna have to be like so like that all right i got the butter going i do not know what to do about this i kind of want to just break the can i don't know maybe i could do something like this oh my gosh ah! it's like really i don't know what to do all right so that's going i feel like i should put it down a little bit so the butter won't burn i'm gonna get my honey put the honey in here um, I'm just eyeballing this y'all because yeah I can't watch the video and um, talk to y'all at the same time <laughs> but when I invest in my other recording devices I probably will be able to do so so excuse all the weird noises um, I like to put honey in my tea and that's why it's kind of, yeah. So I'm gonna just let that sit upside down for a while. And, um, all right, so, you know what? I can put onion in here. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that until I'm able to open this can because it's, oh my gosh. Give up on ya. I was about to give up on ya. So I'm gonna just like just put some garlic in there. Ooh, it smells so good already. Alright. Ooh, the garlic and the honey. 
down lower because the garlic is starting to burn but I do need to slice the lime okay and well you know what I'm gonna slice this lot oh my gosh okay this is supposed to be my new sharp knife like what the heck okay so I'm actually going to use half of it to like put lime juice in it because I do remember him putting lemon juice in it. So we're gonna put the lime juice of half of a lime. And then uh, he said to like slice, oh, why can't I cut this? I don't need to get my big old butcher knife for this thing. really tough. Where the heck did I get this thing from? I know I got another one. Another one. Let's see if I'm able to cut that one any smoother. Oh my gosh, why is it so hard to cut? This is crazy, y'all. Uh. I may have to skip the little fancy smancy part and just do what I can. Wow. All right. I don't know what the heck's up with that. I'm going to put some more um, honey. Y'all, I don't know. This is going to taste good, hopefully, because the uh, honey and the garlic smell so good together. Who would have ever thought of combining the two? Uh, you can never go wrong with garlic. And it's healthy for you, so and that's what we're gonna go by. All right, I'm gonna put some more honey. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> All right, so let's peep and see how this tastes. Ooh, ooh, I put a lot of honey. So let's see, I'm gonna add some more lime juice. To that. All right. So let's stir that in. And see how that tastes. Okay. I like that. I kind of want to add, hmm, maybe a little bit of salt because it still is a little bit sweet to me. I don't want it to be too sweet, sweet. Surprised that garlic is not coming through as much as I put in. Okay, yeah, that's good right there. And I feel like I want some onion in there too. Like, I'm gonna put an onion in it. I'm right here. We need an onion. So the chicken has started cooking. To ooh, do like maybe half of a onion. I'm worried about my onions too. I always take off like the first two layers. I don't know why. <laughs> Makes me feel better. Okay. And I'm just going to dice that. How much do I want? I don't want it to be too much. You know what I mean. I don't want it to just overpower the garlic or the honey. So I'm just gonna coarsely chop onion like so like that. Stick that in the pot. 
see what it does. Okay. So this is how it's looking so far. You can see that. <laughs> Looks like little burnt thingies. How much is that, honey? So I turn it on really low so it wouldn't burn. Um, let me take some of this stuff off the uh, here. watch on the stove because you don't want any of that to burn and I am going to probably be making a limeade and a lemon lemonade oh that'll be really good the lime and the lemon yes um right now there's a lot of people that have lemon and orange trees and they just been passing around at the gym at work so you know what I will pass it out free food so, yeah. Yes. So tell me how you guys have been. I'm gonna turn this off because it's starting to burn a little bit. But I will turn on the oven to about 400. I wanna put some sweet potatoes in there. But until then, let's chat for a little bit. How you guys been doing? I haven't cooked with you in the kitchen for a while. <laughs> yeah, so do you guys have any well wishes for the new place? Any more suggestions for cooking videos? Please let me know in the comments below. I will try to read through all of them and to see what I want to do next. But for now, let's get some sweet potatoes. I will go ahead and wash them. How many do I want? I want a few. So let me figure out what I want to do and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and washed off three potatoes. I'm going to stick little holes in them. And yeah, definitely be careful. Am I clumsy? So. I'm going to pop them in the oven. Do you guys wrap your sweet potatoes or you just leave them open? I usually wrap them, but, huh, should I wrap them? I'm gonna wrap them. I feel like it cooks it faster. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll put that in the oven. My foil, wrap them up. <laughs> A little corn on the cob looks like. And these potatoes are pretty thin, so I don't think I'll have to keep them on for long because I usually put them in the oven anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. The sister so thin. I think I'm going to do 30 minutes. All right, so in the oven it goes. I'm going to put that timer on because I will forget until I smell something. <clears throat> so yeah, I think I'm going to do 30 minutes for that. Okay, got that going, put my little seasonings. And maybe I should pack these up, but I don't know, I'll figure that out later. All right, and I already got my pan lined for the chicken that I am going to do. I think I'm gonna do it in the oven. So I'm just gonna spread it and get ready we have eight more minutes in the instapot here and i am going to put on the glaze on top of the chicken stick that bad boy in there for another 10 15 minutes or so and see what we want to do with that i have already made vegetables you know i always gotta have my veggies in each meal um hmm so I wonder if this will be enough for 
a whole jug. Or maybe I'll do half a jug. All right, so I got my fresh lemon here. Roll that out a little bit. And I am just going to um, cut and squeeze. So squeezing it in there. Oh, yeah, I'm making a mess. <laughs> I like mine with seeds and stuff in it, so I know it's real. All the pulp, all the seeds. Yeah, it's going to be nice and fresh. And then I'm going to put some of this lime in there. Y'all, after I visited um, Mexico, I love to put lime on almost everything it just makes everything taste so fresh to me i love it all right that's the oven getting heated okay so i have my lemon and lime juice oh almost dropped it put some water in it i think this will be nice like after a workout you know just kind of like a nice summery drink, even though it's winter. Man, where is all my stuff? I'm just moving and packing. I don't even know what I got in my own place. All right, so it's really light. Let's see. Mmm. Okay. So I will add, should I add any honey or sugar? I don't even think I have sugar. I do have sugar. I have some organic cane sugar, so I'm just going to maybe do like a scoop, maybe. That's probably like, hmm, a quarter of a cup. And make this really nice and ice cold. Ooh, it's going to be good. to get really nice and cold. Bye-bye for now. Oh, all right, so we just have a couple more minutes for the chicken, about five more minutes. Um, the potatoes are still going, so I'll just clean up around the kitchen and I will hop back on. Okay, the chicken is finished. I have the Instapot, it is not fully done by the eye of it or maybe it is because I never know with me so I am going to take the chicken out Ooh. and it looks so good y'all put it on the tray here man this looks so good okay I love how instant pots just cook things so quickly and it smells amazing chicken out. I have a lot of yummy juices still in there too. Maybe I'll pour that on later. All right, so I have the honey. Let's, Let's push this back. So I'm going to just kind of drizzle the honey glaze on the top with the garlic and the onion. Should have made more. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But I have just enough. I guess I didn't want to overdo it. Okay, so I got that. Put it on the chicken on top. I want to get all the goodness. So the chicken comes out looking like this. I am going to <laughs> add some more honey because I can. And I want it to taste like 
really sweet. And I'm being extra nice to J. Rod Reviews this month because it is his birthday month. And not that I'm like not always nice to him, you know, anyways throughout the year. But, you know, it's nice to treat you extra special on your birthday. I'm going to hop this into the oven with the potatoes. And I'm going to leave that in there for another 15, 20 minutes. No, maybe like 15, yeah, 15, 20 minutes. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so what you wanna talk about? Y'all have any New Year's resolutions or plans? Any special traditions? Well, not only does my cel family celebrate um, Christmas, can't even think, but we celebrate Kwanzaa, and that is um, seven days of celebration. Each day has a special meaning, and we pray over it, we talk about it, and we say how we're going to improve on it. So it's pretty cool. It's something that um, my family and I have started probably when I was like in middle school. And, you know, we were doing like family history stuff. So it's really cool. Very interesting. You know, it gets me back in touch with my roots, um, being an African-American. So, yeah, I love it. Um, and then, you know, always for New Year's, we have, of course, the collars, which represents the money, the black eyed peas, which represents the coin. So I did that last year. And did that help? <laughs> well, I'm still making the same amount. Well, you know what? I did get a raise. So, you know what? I'm going to eat more of that. So maybe I will get an even bigger raise this year. So <laughs> just thought about that. But anyways, yeah, that's just something that um, we do in the household. So that's been pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm going to let this chicken and the sweet potatoes bake a little bit in the oven. I am going to clean out a little bit more of these dishes and I will see you soon. All right, the moment has come where I am taking everything out of the oven. So I got the sweet potatoes. Ooh. And I got the chicken. It looks so good. Oh man. this oven off before I forget. <laughs> okay, so this chicken looks really good, y'all. Like, I want to eat it now, but I'm gonna wait to eat it. Okay, so, um, okay. so look at this. Look how pretty and caramelized that is. Look how nice, like, Look. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, about to drop my chicken. Oh no! Wow, it smells so good. The guy, I think he like marinated. The guy who like made the recipe, I think he marinated his chicken for maybe like thirty minutes. But I did like overnight, so hopefully it'll be all tasty and all that. Okay, so the chicken thighs are on the plate. Look how yummy that looks. Wow. Oh, I got some chicken on the bottom. Let's see. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Can I get another piece? Oh, good. Wow. I got a little crispy part on the bottom there. <laughs> I always wondered why the aluminum foil doesn't get hot like when you have it in the oven. Looks really good. Ooh, you see that steam? Ooh, yeah. Yes, I'll see and 
good. I can't wait to try it out. Okay, so this video is going way too long. I will be making a part two of this video to do the taste reaction. All right, lipsters, see you later.